let me talk about uh, pointer members in a class that is uh, a class having member variables in the form of pointer. A class member uh, can be pointed to fundamental types such as integer type, double, character, etc. It could be pointed to a class type such as uh, an object of a class and it could be pointed to a function type. My focus here is on pointer to fundamental types and which is also almost same as the pointer to class types. Now I am jumping into the code. Uh, so I have a, a code to start a discussion. Uh, in this code, I have a class a student which has uh, the member variables, uh, student, student number and name. Uh, these are the variables to hold a student number and a student name. And it has a, a default constructor. Uh, it has a, a custom constructor which receives a, a issuer number and the name and copies it into the attribute. And it has a function to display the data, print. And uh, the three lines of code to test the class. This is the class I have. Uh, this class uses uh, array character array to store the student name and uh, the default uh, value to be copied in the default constructor to the array is uh, empty string and uh, this uh, custom constructor actually does uh, the validation of the data and uh, copies the data if it is not valid it will set to the default data and uh, print function does validation of the number if it is valid, it will go ahead and display the data. Otherwise, it will display the text in valid object. And um, if the student number is valid and it will display the number followed by, it will also check the name. Uh, if the first character in the name is uh, not null character, in that case, uh, it will display the name. Otherwise, it will display this text not, ab not applicable or not available. So, let me jump into the terminal to uh, make sure that this code runs and then I we can uh, continue from there. So here I'm going to be I'm using um, uh, G++ command. Uh, this will uh, display all the um, warnings. Uh, compiler 23 compiler output file exe and the name of the file uh, in, in which the code is written is uh, main.cpp so so this has uh, done the compilation and linking task now we have uh, main.exe created and uh, i am i'm going to uh, run main.exe so now it actually displayed uh, the ID and the name uh, as per the uh, as per the code because number was valid so it dis it did display the number and name. So with this code uh, uh, by taking this code as a base I will discuss uh, the resource or pointer members right. For example usually the pointer member uh, um, comes into significance when you have to store uh, the uh, data which is uh, which length or size is not pre pre predictable right for example if you if there is a i mean if uh, someone wants to store uh, some information about the student for example an essay written by the student and uh, in this case if i want to use a static character array to store the essay then I don't know what is going to be the size of uh, number of characters in the essay. One student uh, may write f essay of length let's say 200 I mean words, another student may write the essay uh, 500 words, another student uh, may end up with uh, having essay a little bit longer. So uh, you would be uh, um, you would be inclined to 
uh, select um, the, the, the number of characters which uh, would accommodate all the possible sizes, right? For example, if you assume that uh, the uh, biggest si number of characters, largest number of characters in the array and essay would be let's say 1024, then you would be creating, uh, an, I mean, uh, I mean an array of size 24 for all the cases, for all the students. That means uh, if uh, the most of the students uh, tend to uh, have an essay of length, uh, let's say uh, 300 characters, uh, in that case, um, uh, the extra memory space is going to be wasted, right? If you see this um, thing and if you, for example, I have this uh, student object and if I see the size of the student object, uh, Right. If I, I I want to see the size, then it will actually incorporate the size of this one, 24 plus 64, and so on. So in this case, in this particular situation, a uh, um, uh, preferred approach is to have a dynamic array. This array of fixed size elements is called a static array, and we want to have a dynamic array. And uh, the way of having dynamic array is uh, um, to have a pointer. Right, so instead of having this uh, array, I have this pointer, and uh, this pointer will be actually pointing to our uh, dynamic memory space. And that space will actually carry the actual content of the essay. Right, so in this case, uh, uh, to, um, to, to keep the explanation simpler, I'm going to be uh, turning this uh, name itself into a pointer. So now in this case, I actually want to uh, have a dynamic array storing the name and this pointer pointing to that dynamic memory space. So in this case, uh, with this uh, change in the name, you need to be uh, uh, careful about uh, what you need to be aware of, what other things you need to make changes in all the functions, right? So, in the case of default constructor, we don't, uh, we have not changed the number, so this uh, default assignment to, to zero remains same. But in the case of name, um, this uh, empty string is not, not a default value in the case of pointer. In the case of pointer, default value is going to be equals to null PTR, right? So, let me comment it out. And um, here, data validation, uh, you need to change, only change you have to make is on the S name. So uh, here, uh, if the data is valid and you set the number, uh, but uh, when you actually copy to this uh, S name, then S name is uh, not associated with any memory so far. So you need to associate this to the dynamic memory. So you need to allocate a memory for the, the to store the data. And the way of doing that is equals to use a new keyword, uh, character type, and the array and uh, the size of array is going to be uh, the length of name plus one extra character to store a null character at the end. So now after that uh, you do copy and this now it becomes valid. It actually will copy in this allocated memory space. This uh, amount of change um, you should know that uh, you should know you should do this this sort of changes. And uh, here also, if you, are, you want to set to the default state again, uh, like this, um, you need to set to the null PTR and uh, remove this out. So this uh, amount of change is uh, actually needed here if you actually change this static array to this dynamic array. Now, in the when displaying S yes, number is this is okay. We are not going to make any changes in the number part. In the name, uh, uh, you, if you want to check uh, defaultness, then it is you, you will be checking uh, whether it's null PTR or not, right? So, uh, is uh, not equals to null PTR. So, uh, this statement will check that uh, this is uh, S name is pointing to dynamic memory spaces, not uh, empty or it is not null PTR. And uh, this second part will check whether there, there is a valid string or not. If it is empty string, you do not want to display name, right? So now uh, this is this will do the proper validation of uh, the string, uh, the name before displaying it. 
So, so this much amount of change is uh, necessary and uh, with this change let me uh, jump into the terminal and uh, try to see whether it is there we uh, come across any issue or not. Uh, we are in the terminal now. Uh, compilation and linking and uh, execution. Now it's uh, it has executed. Now there's a 16 data 16 is displayed. So this was the size of statement that I added uh, here. This was the outcome of this size size up. Now we have a size of S1 is uh, uh, I mean size of this integer and size of this uh, pointer. The pointer size is uh, I think in this case in our case it is uh, at mostly it is 8 byte and this is 4 byte 12 byte should be sufficient but you know because of uh, the uh, something called you know um, uh, I mean because of the efficiency of uh, the storage uh, the compiler actually uh, allocates uh, in the integer multiple of this uh, largest size for example at it uh, it allocates at the integer multiple of at so therefore we have the size uh, the, the size was displayed as 16. So it will be the integer multiple of at um, size. So uh, it was uh, the pointer required at byte and then uh, this number required for 12. So um, it uh, actually rounds up to 16. Now so it is working but uh, there is one problem here uh, but that problem is very important problem very key problem. So here if um, for example, if I have a, a block memory space and in this memory space uh, if I create another object S2 right so S2 with uh, ID 12002 and Adrian name. Now I display the data Right. So now at this point what happens is uh, uh, S, S, within this scope, this is a block scope, so this S2 is created within this scope and um, it is uh, alive, it exists or its existence continues till this scope ends. That means uh, at this point uh, S2 will go out of scope, that means S2 will be destroyed. But when you create this object, uh, here you have a dynamic memory allocated and that memory allocated actually will not get destroyed automatically. That means uh, the object will be destroyed but dynamic memory that was allocated to store this agent will remain in the memory which is uh, not usable for other purposes. For example, if you want to create another object here, uh, S3 or so. Uh, or other 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 objects, then uh, you will not be able to use that memory that is occupied. Okay, you will be have other memory available, but uh, this will limit the amount of memory that is available for the for you to use. That uh, situation is called something called memory leak. Okay, so to avoid this memory leak, you need to have uh, something uh, called a destructor. Right, so. You need to have a destructor which is actually automatically called when uh, this S2 goes out of scope, right. So you don't need to explicitly call the destructor, it will automatically call. You just need to define a function called destructor. And the syntax is uh, you have tiled character followed by the name of the class itself and you don't have any um, parameters in the destructor. And in the destructor, we want to have a statement that will release this allocated memory. Okay, so the syntax for doing that is have uh, use a delete keyword followed by square bracket and the name of the pointer. So this is uh, the thing we want to put in the destructor, and it will be automatically invoked uh, when S2 goes out of scope, and there is no uh, all the uh, memory is actually available. Uh, for for the allocation after this. 
this is the end of this video. In the next video, I will talk about deep copying and deep assignment. Thank you for watching.